Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Samuel and in this video, I'll be sharing some amazing insights with you again. So here I'll be essentially sharing the insights or the art of topic modeling, right? And how we essentially used to assign topics to millions of jobs and derive value and insight out of that. So let me show you a small code and followed by an architecture and uh, let's get started straight into action. So I have the architecture and I also have the sample data set, which is posted on Kaggle, right? This is a free open source data set, right? So first uh, let's see the code and then we will be diving into architecture because without understanding what we are trying to do, uh, it doesn't make sense to go to the architecture, right? First, let's understand the use, right? So I did install all these library, yay, topic to vec is a very popular model or a basically library, which is used for topic modeling, right? So I read the data set here, as you can see. Now, this will essentially allow us to analyze and create topics for essentially jobs, right? So here, if you see, I read the data set, right? And then essentially I am training uh, the model on the jobs data set, uh, if you observe here. And then I said simply, okay, get the total number of topics that you found. So here, the model found 58 topics. Now, uh, okay, Samuel, tell me in easy language, what do you mean? Well, this means that every job will have a topic. So for example, when you talk about, let's say, um, uh, software, right? What are the popular topics that you talk? Oh, you know what the STLC, the testing, these are like words or the, that describes the topic, right? If you get what I'm trying to say, right? So for example, then I said, okay, uh, for the keyword software, show me the top three topics that you have. So here you can see topic number five, topic number 45 and 21. So look at this, topic five is essentially formed of programmers, the word code, Teleo, RDMS. So these are the words that uniquely describes that particular job or topics, right? So I, I think you got the idea or the concept, right? So similarly, now you can also search documents or basically given a topic, you can also find or search documents, right? That is also possible here, right? Um, now, how do we assign topics to the jobs that have been created real time, right? So what, what we are saying is basically anytime a job is created or updated or, or any basically text, we want to assign a topic added to it because then we can analyze the trend and do all these amazing insights, right? So what we need to do is basically we need to now think in a little bit in a, in a reverse way. So remember, we did train a model, right? And essentially when you give a keyword, it essentially suggested us the appropriate topic for that, right? So. Let's go back a little bit. What I'm saying is we trained the model on this sample data set, which is available, right? Then what we did essentially is basically we gave a keyword and based on the keyword, we can derive the top three or top two topics, okay? Okay, so now we gotta do reverse for essentially when the new data comes in. As soon as the data comes in, what you gotta do is you gotta extract the keywords and then essentially uh, search uh, uh, the topic with those keywords. So let me show you an example here, right? So for example, here, um, I took this job from Indeed, right? This is a uh, actual job that is posted on Indeed, uh, right? Uh, so now I essentially downloaded a library called Keybird. It essentially used BERT to extract keywords out of it, okay? So if you observe for this job title or for this job, uh, again, uh, responsibility, design, development, maintain, pipeline, blah, 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 XYZ, you know, some salary insight, blah, 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 whatever, XYZ. So what we did is uh, we extracted some keywords out of that job, right? Now for those jobs, if you observe, we are essentially fi finding the appropriate topic. So now for, for these jobs, developer, tech, engineer and engineering, the best topic suited for that particular job would be topic number eight or topic number 45 and topic number 36. So topic number eight has popular words called engineering, apply, graduate, resumes. You see, you see what I'm saying? Similarly, topic 45, STLC, engineer, hardware, Linux, right? So these are the words that essentially describes that topic, right? So of course you can see the jobs as well. Now let's take a look at the architecture on how you would essentially do this, right? So on AWS, what we did is essentially, uh, whenever a job is created, updated, or essentially modified, right? These events are broadcasted to an SNS topic. Now there are multiple subscribers. One of the subscribers is essentially subscribed to these topics. As soon as it receives an alert, right? It will store it in the SQS, right? SQS will act as a buffer, right? 
and then it will essentially fire up a lambda function. Uh, now what this lambda does is basically the data science team will essentially you know train this model and it will give you a um, an endpoint, an API or some code, right? So in the lambda, given a job, you're gonna call the model that is on the Sage SageMaker, right, which is hosted on AWS, and then you're gonna get the topics real time. Then you store the topic in DynamoDB. So now the DynamoDB essentially maintains the operational data, that is one or two years worth of data. You set up TTL, so which means as it gets older, the data would be automatically pruned. You will set up DynamoDB streams, so you will stream the events real time through Kinesis data streams, through FireOS. FireOS, um, you'll attach a Lambda integration. So this Lambda function will take the Dynamo JSON and convert into a regular standard JSON for our data lake purposes. Now, and after that, we insert the data into S3. The FireOS will deliver the data. It will partition the data by year, month, uh, et cetera, et cetera. A glue, S3, and Athena. Now, um, if the business wants to get topics pretty fast, in near real time, they can essentially use the operational data that is there in the DynamoDB. And for their analysis, for the historical, for the trend, right, for the, for, for, for example, I want to see which job, uh, which topic is, uh, which job essentially topic is posted more, right, over like, let's say five years, 10 years, over the month, over the week, which company, you know, all these stuff, amazing stuff, right? Now they can go to Athena, they could do a group by, um, on like month or year and derive all these beautiful, valuable insights. Now the team can also plot um, or make a dashboard using QuickSight. So they will use the data that's there on the lake, right? And they will build amazing dashboards uh, and derive valuable insights to the business, right? So uh, amazing architecture, right? So you will use DynamoDB or we essentially use DynamoDB to store the jobs, the topics, the operational data, right? So yeah, I think, uh, I hope you got some nice value out of this uh, video and session, right? Uh, this is a data set that I essentially took online job posting. It's a free data set, right? Uh, so yeah, you know, like just imagine like what all things you can do. Anytime uh, a job is created, updated, you will assign topics and now you would you can derive trend or insights. Okay, what is the... So what this does basically, every single topic will have a certain job, right? It will categorize all, all these items, right? So yeah, this is a really nice way uh, to essentially assign topics to unstructured data using a library called topic to vec It's a free library, uh, as I said, right? And um, there are a lot of libraries to extract keyword as well. One of them is Yake. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about that. And if you wanna read about topic modeling, there are a lot of articles I encourage you to come and read. So I want to show you something about Yake. You could also use this uh, to extract keywords, right? Whatever library you think. Let me show you. I think there's a web UI. This one, demo extract. So yeah, very popular uh, to extract keywords, right? So I'll show you, for example, uh, example English sample, right? You can s uh, select how many uh, 10 n grams or one gram, whatever that that is, right? You want to select that. It will essentially get the keywords out of it. It's a library, right? You can use it. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of uh, valuable insights you could derive by assigning uh, topics to your unstructured data. And the last but not the least, I want to share one small thing. Topic to back. This is a Python library. Uh, let me show. Mm, was it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, so as you can see, it's absolutely very easy to use and uh, very popular and trending library, right? So you could essentially, as you can see, you could derive or create topics, or derive value inside out of your unstructured data, right? Uh, very easy to use as well, right? Um, and they have all, um, you know, you could use like um, sentence transformer. You could also use a custom model if needed, right? I think there's a way, let me see. Uh... Yeah, see, you could also specify what a sen universal sentence uh, encoder, my bad. So you could also specify what model you want to use, right? So you could tweak and essentially uh, use the best uh, for your use case, right? So I hope you enjoyed the insights uh, of this. And if you did enjoy, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to share all the resources. This, this is what I, I, was, I was working, you know, just on my free time. I'll share this Jupyter notebook with you in case if you need it. 
Uh, with that being said, if you have any more questions, let me know your questions and uh, we'll try to answer your questions uh, in the order in which it's received. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling and I'll see you guys next time.